What's up, JP from Sound Engine Studios. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can feed Logic Pro into Zoom. And it's, it is a process, so pay attention closely. The first thing that you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to download an audio plugin called I Show You. I, the letter I, S-H-O-W, and U. You can search that on Google and download that. And once you download that, your computer will recognize that as one of your audio devices. The second thing you're gonna do is you're, gonna, you're going to need to configure a multi-output device in your audio devices in the settings. So to find your audio devices, you're gonna click on the little magnifying glass on the top right side of your desktop. And once the search bar pops up, you're gonna type in M-I-D-I, -I, and the first item that's gonna populate will be your audio devices. So go ahead and do that now, and once you type that in and click on audio devices, this will pop up. If you look at the screen, uh, look at the video on the top right side, you'll see my audio device window is now open. And if you notice, the I show you audio capture is there and it's ready to be clicked on. But you're not gonna click on that first. The first thing that you're gonna click on, you're gonna check off the audio interface that you are using. I am using an M audio interface. It's called M track. You might be using a Focusrite, you might be using Universal Audio or PreSonus. First, you're going to check off your interface and then you're going to check off your I Show You. I have my drift correction checked off with the I Show You. I'm not sure how it would work, uh, if it would work better if I checked off the M track, but right now everything is working great and I have the drift correction checked off on the I Show You. So once we have our audio devices set, our multi-output device, um, let me back up. Let me back up a second. I didn't mention to you that you have to create a multi-output device if you do not have one. To create a multi-output device, you're going to click on the little plus sign on the bottom of the screen, and that will allow you to create a multi-output device. And then all of these options will populate for you to be able to check off. All right, so, and you can rename it too. So once you have your multi-output device created and configured, we need to go into Logic Pro, which I have open right here. So we're gonna open up our preferences, audio. Our output device in Logic Pro will be the multi-output device or whatever you renamed it to. Your input device will be your audio interface. As you can see here, mine is M-Track. The final step is configuring the audio in Zoom. All right, so let's go to Zoom. So on the bottom left side of your screen, you're gonna notice the microphone where it says mute, and you'll see the green audio signal pulsating as I'm talking. And I have my keyboard running through this as well. So how do you configure this to work? You need to go into your audio preferences, your audio settings in Zoom and configure it so your I show you audio device is your microphone. So open up your preferences and your settings, your audio settings, and your microphone will be the I show you audio capture device. Your speaker is going to be whatever output you would like. For, for my purposes, I have my audio output as my M track. All right, and that is it. If you have any suggestions or comments or if you have a, a, maybe a better way to do it, I am all ears. I'm always open to learning how to do things better and more efficiently and more effectively. So please share with us. If you haven't done so, please like and subscribe to the channel as this is going to allow me to create more content like this. So it's great to have you here and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. JP, Sound Engine Studios, out.